Speaker, I want to move a point of order uh, so that the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice would be able to do further review and maybe see why that is necessary, if you will allow me to do so. Uh, Honorable Speaker, if we look at uh, Standing Order 11. Let's be properly guided. Yeah. Are you making an observation point of order, or point. are you raising a point of order? Point of order. Point of order. And what I, I'm saying that I am asking, are you raising a point of order or making an observation? Uh, point of order, and you may decide to accept it or not. That is understanding order 11.5. It says that the first order paper of a session agreed by the Assembly Business Committee shall be issued by the clerk to all members at least two days before the sitting. Thereafter, order papers must be issued at least one day in advance of sitting. Sittings, 11, am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 11, okay. 11, standing order 11, paragraph 5. That the first order paper by of a session agreed by the Assembly Business Committee shall be issued by the clerk to all members at least two days before the sitting. Thereafter, all the papers must be issued at least one day in advance of sittings. Well, I know what is being done is to use uh, cyberspace to uh, alert members. So I'm not questioning really the uh, effort by the office of the clerk to keep the members informed of the order paper. But I am here talking about the physical uh, handling of the order paper, uh, which uh, from my own concern in this instance uh, would be the basis for allowing the Attorney General to fan back and, and look at the National Human Rights Commission Act uh, and the, the task that he wishes the National Assembly to address. Uh, I believe that uh, if we give him chance uh, to go back to the Act and look at it properly, uh, I, I don't think uh, uh, he will be coming in the way that he intends to come. Uh, and I believe that we can rely on this Honorable Speaker to uh, uh, adjourn adjourn and then allow him to go back and bring the matter properly before us. That's, that's my motion. On the first issue um, dealing with section or clause 11.5, I think I stand to be corrected, but the other paper is usually posted on the forum. I can understand some honorable members don't uh, revert to using the forum, so because of that. But we just thought that some of these things come up abruptly. That's why we always try to post it online so that everybody can have a look at it before. And that, uh, that kid um, takes care of the one day notice. That's it. But of course, we're just trying to go paperless and make sure that everybody, we are all together on, on, on all fours. Now on the issue of um, maybe the Attorney General having a second look at the act, I personally, I stand to be corrected again as usual, but I think it's just to table for him to move the motion, table this, and then probably it may be referred to a committee, for a committee to look at it, and then we come back. I stand to be corrected, but this is my understanding. Uh, we are together. Okay, thank you. Then we allow him just to move the motion, and then somebody can move for it to be referred, and then. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I very much appreciate the, the consideration of Honorable Member for Sarekunda. Um, however, we, 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 we will move. I, the little time given to me, I averted my mind, and I was able to recall all the efforts that the Ministry did in this regard. Madam Speaker, I beg to move uh, for this National Assembly to consider two names that were shortlisted by my Ministry uh, pursuant to the Human Rights Commission Act, uh, Section 5, as well as the schedule at the back of the Human Rights Co uh, Commission's Act. Uh, we require the, the process of filling or appointing commissioners in the National Human Rights Commission uh, spelled out clearly in Section 5, as well as uh, the procedure is also laid down at the schedule of the National Human Rights Commission Act. The only thing, if I may add, that may slightly be different, those who may be reading the schedule of the National Human Rights Commission Act, is the schedule, the operational procedure at the schedule at the back, uh, contemplated the appointment of all the five commission members, commissioners, and as a result, it requires that nine should be shortlisted and be given to the National Assembly so that you have enough room to, to, to be able to choose from. However, in this situation, a vacancy occurred and uh, that is a seat reserved for a female. We did follow all the due process. We advertised, we gazetted, but you are offered with two candidates to choose from, to choose one out of the two, uh, instead of nine uh, to choose five from, because we are not reappointing the entire commission anymore, but we are only appointing one to replace the one that exited. So you have two candidates, we have vetted, there is a committee that by law should be set up, which is a multi-sectoral committee uh, that was composed. They are the ones that vetted all the applications and came up with this shortlist. And it has been gazetted for the public notice so that the public member, members of the public who may have any objection may put forward their objections to the appointment of these candidates. But we have not received any objection so far. So the next step now is to bring it before this August Assembly for your consideration and, 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 and selection of one out of the two for the, for the final appointment of the President. I move on those terms, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. I second the motion. Madam Speaker, I equally want to move a motion under Section 53K because uh, this uh, papers were submitted to us this morning, and our scrutiny should not only lie on the CVs of the uh, members. So I think we should go and scrutinize further. So I will move uh, a motion on the 53K to be, to, to be referred to the uh, Committee of uh, Public Appointments Committee and the Human Rights Committee. Um, first of all, we have to deal with the motion by the Honorable Attorney General and Minister for Justice. It, ha um, it has been moved and seconded that this Honorable Assembly do consider the appointment of one of the shortlisted persons as Commissioner at the National Human Rights Commission. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those not in favor, please say no. So the ayes have it. And there's another motion that Yes, I know. There's another motion that was moved by the Honorable Member for Fonyi Bintang Karanlai. Can I, any seconder? Yes, um, Banju South. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise to, um, I can't say I will second because with some reservations, because the Human Rights Committee is, under, is through an act of parliament, and that act prescribes the appointment of the commissioners. I would move, I mean, I would second his motion, but to refer it to the appointments committee to go through the act because it is prescribed in the act how it is, how the commissioners are appointed, but not to the human rights committee. Thank you. The motion has been seconded as amended with amendments. So, <laughs> so. No, Honorable, I'm just following procedure. He has moved a motion. I asked for secondment. You seconded it, but altered the motion. So, 
unless the, the mover wants to amend his motion, and when we take a second, we take a second on the amended version of the motion. I don't want to amend. Motion to be referred to Public Appointment Committee and Human Rights Committee. Public Appointments Committee. Yes. And the Human Rights Committee. I rise to second his motion. The motion has been moved and seconded. Count the motion. Sorry, sorry, no, please. Please, I think we're becoming too lenient here. Let's stop just shouting. Let's follow procedure. The, um, a, a motion has been moved and seconded that um, the appointment be referred to the appointments committee of the National Assembly. Am I right? And the human rights. The no, motion. Please, there, are, there is a motion for it to be referred to the two committees as a joint committee and it has been seconded. Those in favor, please say aye. Those not in favor, please say no. No. So the ayes have it. So it is now referred to the committee, to the joint committee, appointments committee and the human rights committee for them to look into and report. <laughs> Thank you very much, and on that note, honorable members, we come to the end of today's sitting, and I thank everybody and put the question, be it resolved that this August Assembly do stand adjourned till Tuesday, the 22nd of June, 2021, at 10 a.m. Those in favor, please say aye. Those not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. The Assembly now stands adjourned till Tuesday, the 22nd of June, 2021. Honorable, the House is still in session. Honorable Minister, we are still in session. The Assembly now stands adjourned till Tuesday, the 22nd of June, 2021, at 10 a.m. prompt. Thank you very much. We are not in court, but we still have our proceedings. Court rise, yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no.